today we'll be dealing with median for group data in case of a grouped frequency distribution we compute median from the cumulative frequency distribution of the variable under consideration so for grouped data here we'll be taking cumulative frequency into consideration as we'll solve a question we'll understand what a cumulative frequency is so let's just take an example if n is the total frequency we find the lowest class whose cumulative frequency is greater than n by 2 this is called the median class assuming that all items are evenly distributed in a median class we locate median in this median class as follows so median is l plus n by 2 n as we have told n was the frequency n by 2 minus cf which is the cumulative frequency upon f which is the frequency into i okay so l is the lower limit l is the lower limit of the median class so first of all what we have to do is we have to find the median class in a question what we'll do we'll divide the total number by 2 is that the total frequency by 2 and we'll find that where this n by 2 is lying okay so next we'll do is n n was the total frequency as i have told you earlier so n is the total frequency and then c c is the cumulative frequency okay and then f which is the frequency of the median class the frequency of the median class okay then is i so i will be the size of the median class so how will you calculate this i the median class so how are you going to calculate this i so i is the difference between what uh, will be doing in the question is the question will contain the class intervals okay so there there will be class intervals in our previous lectures we have seen how mean has been calculated for certain class intervals right where we did sigma fi xi upon sigma fi for calculating the mean mean of these class intervals so here in the median thing what you will do is you'll find i i is the difference between the lower and the higher limit so if it is 2 to 4 if the class interval interval is 2 to 4 4 to 8 then you'll find the minus 4 by 2 so this will be 4 to 6 okay the difference will be continuous when the question will be given to you the difference will be continuous and that is how you'll be finding the i so 4 minus 2 2 4 okay so the i would be 2 if such question will be given we'll be discussing uh, a question regarding this formula in the next lecture but but for now let's just understand how this formula is and how uh, what different symbols from this formula represent so that it would be easier for you to understand the lecture our next lecture okay previously in some lectures we have also discussed how median is calculated for ungrouped data what we have done let's just revise the same thing again for once 
so that you have a clear view of the same so if the number of terms are even in an ungrouped data if the number of terms are even and you don't have the higher and the lower limit you don't have the class interval so you can't find i right so in that case you'll see that your data is even or odd so if your data is even what you'll do is n by 2 so the total number divide by 2 and by 2th term plus n by 2 plus 1th term so what you'll do you'll divide your number total number of data by 2 so total frequency divided by 2 then what you'll do is you'll see where the term lies and then and you'll add the next term to it and then you'll divide the both add both the terms and divide them by 2 so you'll get your answer like this and if the terms are odd as you know what you'll do you'll apply this formula n plus 1 by 2 th term so this is a simple thing which you'll be doing if the terms are odd so this is a very simple thing you'll just add the number of terms plus 1 and then you'll divide the terms by 2 you'll not divide the terms by 2 please remember this you'll just find this term this four whole thing you'll apply this whole thing in your formula and then you'll see for this term in your question and one more thing which i've told you that you have to keep in mind please arrange your data in ascending order first in case of ungrouped data so this has already been told to you it, one again we are just revising this even and odd thing and a new thing which you learned today is this formula which a question regarding the same regarding this formula will be discussed in the next lecture thank you